pertaining to Christian rock music, which forms the great majority of the emails I receive, there is a commonality amongst these that the number one thing that people will send to me is a list of the lyrics of a Christian rock song. And unequivocally, they always say, now read these lyrics first, read these lyrics first, and then if you want, you know, maybe if you have time, you can go look at the video. And this is the thing, is that people, you are sending me these because you understand that once I see the video, I'm going to reject it outright. And this is because God requires purity. God desires purity. God wants purity. And what is purity? Is purity just sexual purity like they, cheat, like they teach in the main denominations? No. Purity is obedience. And many times in reference to this, I've made reference to the story of Cain and Abel. Abel was received because he gave in the way that God required of him. Cain, on the other hand, did not. Cain gave the offering he chose. He said, well, I understand you want the very best, but I'm going to do it this way. The main idea, the abstract concept, just one tier above what we read directly, is just simply obedience. God said, do it this way. Abel did and was received. Cain did not and was rejected. So, does your Christian rock song have purity? So listen here. We know a duck when we see it because it walks like a duck. It feels like a duck. It looks like a duck and it sounds like a duck. So if you're missing any of these elements in your music, well, it looks, it looks maybe like it could be Christian if I just look at the words. But how does it feel when you hear the music? What kind of emotional, physical, hormonal response does your body produce in reaction to being within the threshold of that music? Is it holy? If not, then it doesn't feel like a duck. It doesn't feel like Christ, that it's not Christian. Does it look like Christ? Are the people up there in tight pants, gyrating their hips around? Is that Christ? If it doesn't walk like Christ, it's not Christ. Do you understand? This is the point. It must be pure. It must be Christ in every dimension, on all levels, in every facet. The words, the production, the presentation, and the direction that it's headed. Does it produce their own name? Like, I'll tell you the truth. Uh, there are certain ministries that go around promoting rock concerts, and it all has their name on it. It all has their name on it. And you won't forget the name of the guy that produced it. His name, he's famous now. More famous, probably, to some than Christ. They know the name of the producer, but they don't know the name of Christ. So where does it point? This is another important aspect in the purity of the Christian servant. Because his goal, just like John the Baptist, is to direct to the one who is here, who is greater than he. I don't want to, I'm not directing anyone to myself, and you're going to find most of the ministers on YouTube are not. They are directing you to Christ, to a personal relationship with Christ. This is the man from Modesto. I hope that you will take all these words to heart because I know that many of you already know by the feeling because of the Holy Spirit that lives within you that certain aspects of your life are not right. You feel like you're behind schedule. You feel like you're out of time. You feel like you're running behind. Things like this. I've, I've heard this testimony many times. I feel like something's not right. You need to get into prayer and say, what is it? What is it? Holy Spirit, please show me now. Don't be surprised if he shows you like that. It's the music. It's the way you worship your car. The way you hold your car is an important part of, of who you are. No, no, no. It's Christ that's in us. That is the most important definition of who we are. Everything else is subjugated to that. Christ is on top. You are a Christian who enjoys music. You are a Christian who performs. You are a Christian who works at the mall, who is an engineer, who is a member of the city council. The Christian part comes first. And that is the heart of Christian warriorship, is sublimating every other aspect of your life to being like Christ. Because that purity has to filter down through the entirety of who you are and through the entirety of the actions you perform. For scripture tells us that even every idle word must be answered for.
So this is the man from Modesto reminding you always to pray or be defeated.